Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Gonna get right to it today. I've had a very, very busy schedule the past couple weeks with work. I've uh, been doing some traveling and uh, some other summer recreation and entertainment. And as a result, I just haven't had any time to put a video out these last few days. So um, in the absence of time to be able to do anything more creative, we're just gonna dive in and do a That Good Sante cream cheese box rummage today on the channel featuring some pickups, old and new. So here's the first one, Connor McDavid, Scoring Kings. I've shown, I think, the Gretzky from this set recently. And here's the McDavid to match. Of course, those uh, overtones of the 1990s Scoring Kings cards with the th lightning in the background. And um, I mentioned this when I showed the Gretzky, but I always think of the iconic Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert, so I love that. Uh, for a long time, you could get these for about five bucks. I don't think that's the case anymore, so. Uh, happy to have that, McDavid. Um, while I pull this next card, I do want to mention, I've uh, been a little bit quiet on the video front, but part of that is I've been putting a ton of effort into my upcoming video response for Dylan over at Double D Vintage Baseball Cards. I am having more fun doing a response for this VR than I think I have any other video in my time on YouTube. So keep an eye out for that coming soon. It's going to be a little bit on the long side. Uh, but it's just going to be amazing. I have some really, really cool cards to show off, and I'm just excited to put that out there. So that will be coming soon. Uh, but in the meantime, let's return to this rummage. And how about this case hit from 2022 Tops, the home field advantage Juan Soto. Pick this up. I'll be honest, this is a case of me buying a card too early. Um, I got this shortly after product release, and I was so enamored with it. I think I paid about $60 for this raw. Might have even been a little bit more, but you know, it's a case hit, I figured, so that's that's fine. Well, in the time since this has come out, um, I think it's kind of widely acknowledged now that they're, even though they're case hits, these are not scarce cards by any means, and I probably could have got this for today, maybe around half what I paid, uh, but I don't regret it. I, I love this card. Um, I've been to D.C. numerous times um, as a kid and an adult, uh, love our nation's capital, and I love just all the great D.C. landmarks here and the shine of this card. Even the little touch of uh, Abe Lincoln here sporting a Washington Nationals cap. It's really, really cool. So that is an awesome Juan Soto. And at the conclusion of shooting this video, that's going to get moved into my Juan Soto and Rafi Devers shared Z folio, uh, which I do plan on showing in an upcoming video here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Uh, wow, we're really uh, pulling some fire here today. So check this one out. This is a buyback from the 2020 leaf pro set memories set um, so this is a 1991 pro set hockey card that was bought back and stamped with this pro set memories buyback stamp and then issued as an insert in this pro set memories or leaf pro set memories release um, in 2020 as you can plainly see this is numbered to five so for all these cards they made six buybacks there is the gold number to five and then there's a red one of one and I couldn't believe that I found this amazing Mario Lemieux hoisting Lord Stanley's Cup from the middle of the Penguins dynasty there, where they won back-to-back -back Stanley Cup championships with names like Lemieux, Yager, and Francis on the roster. This is a really cool, um, very scarce card. I know buybacks aren't for everyone, but I love them. Uh, so finding a hockey version of a player of this caliber, number to five, just made my day. Let's do a soft sleeve card next. Got a lot of hockey here in the early going. This is Andre Svechnikov. And the reason I bought this, it is a team color matching precious metal gems. Um, this guy's a really bright player, young player in the league. Unfortunately, he suffered a pretty bad injury this past year that kept him out of most of the season. Um, but I still believe in him long term. He's a young player with a bright future ahead. You cannot go wrong with PMG, precious metal gems. And thanks to uh, Com C was able to get this for less than 20 bucks. And so, yeah, we'll stash this one away and we'll see if uh, Svechnikov can bounce back from his injury and make that a uh, desirable PMG to own. More hockey here. Check out this Patrice Bergeron with Lord Stanley's Cup on the Prism Immortalized insert. This is the silver version, which is basically a refractor. And I'll keep it brief here because I've shown plenty of these. I'm actually trying to complete this entire insert set all in silver refractor format like this because they are simply gorgeous and they have some of the best etching that I've ever seen on any card in any sport, period. So happy to have another one of those towards my complete set. 
All right, next up, finally, a baseball card. And here's a, a parallel that I've talked about um, a few times recently. I showed a Clayton Kershaw in a recent rummage, but this is a Yaz Stadium Club Chrome Gold Minted. Uh, so these came in the regular standard Stadium Club set, and they came one per case. So these gold minted are case hits. There are 90 cards on the checklist, so there's only one of these gold minted Yaz per 90 cases of Stadium Club. They've done these parallels for a few years running now. Uh, this one is from 2017, uh, but I love the scarcity combined with the great imagery that Stadium Club is known for. And of course, you know, Yaz just happens to be one of the best players to play for my all-time favorite franchise, the Boston Red Sox. Uh, so very, very happy to see this one spill out of the Sante cream cheese box, which is just firing on all cylinders today. We are seeing some amazing cards come out of this. A lot of shine, uh, but we're only at the six-minute mark, so let's keep pulling. I like to, to run these to about 10 minutes. And how about a football card to mix it up? I'll take the receipt out of this one, but this is a Rob Gronkowski refractor out of 2013 Topps Chrome Football. Love that action image. Love that alternate throwback Patriots jersey. Just really cool. It looks like Gronk is ready to mow down some defenders here, which he commonly did. And uh, yeah, I can't you know complain about refractors, Topps Chrome refractors. I'll take them in any sport, uh, especially of a hometown player that uh, brought so much joy to the fans. It was just a treat to watch. I uh, was able to see Gronk and Brady do their thing uh, in person many times, even uh, over the course of their careers. And so this will be a solid addition to my uh, slowly growing football Z folio. So welcome to the collection Gronk Refractor. Let's move over to the right portion of the box next. And oh, I grabbed two by mistake, so let's just get to them both. We've got a Harry Kane. This is from Prism. It's a Red Ice, the scoring superstar for Tottenham Hotspur, the second highest scorer in Premier League and English Premier League history behind Alan Shearer. Uh, a lot of rumors that he may be dealt here. I've heard that he could go to PSG or uh, maybe other clubs in the offseason next year, but I don't know if he's long for Tottenham. But yeah, definitely one of the best offensive players on the planet. Also plays for the English national team and a guy that I like collecting because he is very, very cheap. So that will go into the Soccer Z. And we have another shiny hockey card behind it from the Lone Panini Prism standalone hockey set. This is Sid the Kid on the blue prism. And just like with the Stanley Cup card, so this Bergeron Stanley Cup insert came from this set. And I mean, look at that etching. Like, look at the Penguins logo on Crosby's jersey here. Like, they just don't make shiny cards like this 10 years later. This set is now 10 years old, which is hard to believe. Uh, I absolutely adore it, and I'm always on the lookout for the colored prism cards here, or even the silver prisms of uh, Hall of Famers or big name players who are destined for the Hall of Fame in the future. All right, let's pull another one here, and we are back to baseball, and this is a very relevant card. Check it out. Topps Chrome Shohei Otani from 2023 Topps. Of course, as they've done a few times in recent years, they gave him two cards on the base flagship checklist in 2023. One pitching, one hitting. His pitching came in Series 1. This hitting card came in Series 2. So this is a relatively newly released card. Uh, and I am working on a little run of gold Shohei Otani. Um, so I actually grabbed, I uh, won an auction that was for a pair of these and took two of them home for about $17.00 plus shipping. And when they arrived, I was really excited about the condition of these cards. I think I will likely submit one or both of them to PSA uh, at some point in the future, because I do think this would look great in that PSA slab with the red flip matching the red of the angels here. Uh, but pretty cool to pull the Topps Gold insert, which now has close to a 25-year lineage uh, from the year 2023 of the player who is the absolute talk of baseball in 2023 and is putting in a season for the ages Shohei Otani. So I'm gonna actually wrap it up there. I think we'd have a hard time topping that one as the final card in the video. We'll end it on Shohei. And as always, I truly appreciate you stopping by. Again, please keep an eye out. Very excited to get to my next couple videos. Uh, but until then, I hope everybody stays safe and enjoys the hobby. Take care.